السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن سرچنگ الگورتھمس ان آرٹیفیشل انٹیلیجنس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی اسٹارٹ دا ایڈورڈ سیریل سرچ اینڈ وی ڈسکسڈ مین میکس سرچنگ الگورتھم ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس الفا بیٹا پروننگ الفا بیٹا پروننگ از مور ایفیشینٹ دین مین میکس ایز اٹ الاؤز اے آئی ٹو اگنور لارجر پارٹس آف دا گیم ٹری وائل اسٹل میکنگ دا آپٹیمل ڈیسیجن بٹ ہاؤ ڈز اٹ ورک Let's break it down. Here are some limitations of the min-max algorithm. Min-max algorithm is great for finding the best move in a two-player game, but it examines every possible move, making it too slow for complex games. If a game has b possible moves at each step and a depth of m, the complexity is order of b of m, too large for our deep searches. Alpha beta prunes unnecessary branches, reducing the computations while keeping the correct result. It is possible to compute the correct min-max decision without looking at every node in the game tree. Alpha beta pruning allows to eliminate large parts of the tree from consideration without influencing the final decision. With perfect move ordering, the complexity improves to order of b over m by 2, which is huge speed up. Alpha beta pruning gets its name from two parameters. They describe the bounds on the values that appear anywhere along the path under consideration. Alpha is the highest value max can guarantee so far. Beta is the lowest value mean can guarantee so far. And the pruning condition is if alpha is greater than or equal to beta at any node, we stop searching that branch. Max starts with alpha as equals to negative infinity and min starts with beta equals to positive infinity. Each level updates alpha and beta to keep track of the best and worst possible moves. If alpha is greater than beta, we stop searching that branch because it's already worse than another move. Let's understand the pruning concept with a simple example. In this tree, let's see the first branch. Min picks the smallest value among 3, 12 and 8, which is 3. Max now considers 3 as its best option so far. Now look at the second branch on the right side. The first value in this branch is 2. Since min picks the smallest value, it might select a number even lower than 2. But here is the catch. If the next value is greater than 2, min will still choose 2. It will never select a higher value. But if the next value is less than 2, min will pick it. But max won't care because it already has a better option that is 3. So now we can move forward without looking at these two branches. This is called pruning. Why does this work? Because min will never pass a value greater than 2 and max only wants a number greater than 3. So the remaining values does not matter. Now let's solve a complete example to understand the alpha beta pruning algorithm. First here sign alpha equals to negative infinity and beta equals to positive infinity. to the root node and the same will be propagated down to the extreme left the condition of pruning is alpha greater than equal to beta at max level the value of alpha will be updated and at min level the value of beta will be updated let's explore the first terminal node whose value is 8 we will compare this value with alpha's current value which is negative infinity the maximum among them will be updated at alpha as 8 is greater than minus infinity now alpha's value is equal to 8 alpha is not greater than or equal to beta so we will proceed we will explore the next node it is not greater than the alpha's current value so we will proceed further next terminal node is 3 which is again less than alpha's current value so alpha's value will not be updated So now we have alpha equals to 8 at this node. Since we have completely explored all childs at this node, now we can propagate this value to the above level. Above level is min level, which means here beta value will be changed. At the first level, beta will now pick the minimum value which is 8, which is less than its current value plus infinity. Now this update value will be propagated down to the next node. We will explore the first terminal node whose value is 
9 is greater than minus infinity so alpha's value will be updated now we can see that a pruning condition has met alpha is greater than equal to beta so now we will prune the remaining childs of this node now we will again check if we can update the values at level 1 using the values at level 2 beta value at level 1 is already minimum which is 8 so we will proceed further now alpha and beta values at level 1 will be propagated to the third node at level 2 now we will again explore first node and update the value of alpha we explore the next node and the alpha will be updated as 4 is greater than 2 no change will occur after exploring the third node now we will again check if we can update the value of beta at min level beta is currently 8 we have a minimum value that is alpha equals to 4 at max level so this value will be updated at min level so now at min level alpha equals to negative infinity and beta equals to 4 this node has been now completely traversed so now we can propagate this value back to the root root is at max level so the value of alpha will be updated because 4 is greater than minus infinity now we can propagate the current value of the root node back to its children's we will explore the children's of the first node and the value of alpha will be updated to 5 after visiting the third terminal node now current value at max level can update the values at min level min is positive infinity at level 1 and at level 2 alpha has value 5 which is less than positive infinity so min can pick the value 5 so now the updated value will be propagated to the second node first terminal node is 9 which is greater than 4 so the value of alpha will be updated now alpha equals to 9 and beta equals to 5 which means the condition of pruning met we will prune the next terminal node current value at the min level will be propagated down to the third node when we explore the first terminal its value is 6 which is greater than 4 so now alpha equals to 6 and beta equals to 5 which means the pruning condition satisfies and we will and we will prune the next two terminal nodes now based on the current values at min level the value of alpha at max level will be updated instead of 4 now it becomes 5 it will be propagated down to the children after exploring all terminal nodes of the first child there will be no change we can update the value of beta at min level as 5 is less than positive infinity the beta value at min level will be updated now now alpha equals to 5 and beta equals to 5 and the condition of pruning is alpha is greater than equal to beta now pruning will occur and next two complete branches will be pruned now it's time for your task in the last video we built this min max tree and you are supposed to apply a min max algorithm on this tree now your task is to apply alpha beta pruning on the same tree if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos on data science and ai see you next time